Persona 5 hype still strong, but that is the take stage at E3. SOE rides into Daybreak, and Battlefield Hardline, not Battlefield Flatline. For the week of February 3rd, I'm your host, Mateo, and for Sycamore Video, this is the Tech Tree. Welcome to the show. Last week, Atlas released their first gameplay trailer for the upcoming game Persona 5, the fifth main installment in the popular Persona series. Persona is a long-running Japanese role-playing game that focuses on character interactions and dungeon crawling. Persona is set to release sometime in 2015 in Japan and North America, but no release date has been confirmed as of yet. Have you seen the trailer? Bethesda has announced on their blog that they will have their first ever E3 showcase at the Electronics Entertainment Expo in Hollywood on June 4th. In the blog post, they state, We're hosting our first ever E3 showcase in Hollywood, California on June 14th, and we've saved some seats just for you, our fans. Feel like a celebrity by attending our most exciting event yet, live and in person. Keep an eye out. In the coming months, we'll be sharing details on how you can register to attend. Bethesda is a game studio behind such great works as Fallout 3, Dishonored, Wolfenstein, and Skyrim, just to name a few. Last week, Sony Online Entertainment, known for popular games such as EverQuest, Planetside 2, DC Universe Online, H1Z1, Landmark, and the highly anticipated EverQuest Next, was sold to an investment management group in New York and rebranded Daybreak Game Company. John Smedley, president, had this to say. We are excited to join Columbus Nova's impressive roster of companies. They have a proven track record in similar and related industries, and we are eager to move forward to see how we can push the boundaries of online gaming. We will continue to focus on delivering exceptional games to players around the world, as well as bringing our portfolio to new platforms, fully embracing the multi-platform world in which we all live. So the company hopes that this will be a new opportunity to try some new things. Battlefield Hardline just ended its second multiplayer beta and the numbers have come in. Nearly 7 million players have logged on to play the beta over its week-long span, and EA assures us that although the game is nearing its launch date, they intend to take feedback seriously and already have plans on how they will implement said feedback. In a blog post by Steve Paparas, Vice President and General Manager at Visceral Games, he states, Now I know what you're asking yourself. We're just five weeks away from the launch of Battlefield Hardline. How could we possibly be acting on that feedback? Well, I can assure you we are. In fact, we've been prioritizing changes for things fans are talking about. Battlefield Hardline is set to release March 17th on all modern game consoles. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I've been your host, Mateo, and tune in next time for The Tech Tree.